and now like this is all that's left <laughs> this is all that's left our own Laura Mock is bravely fighting breast cancer and dealing with all the side effects from chemo on camera. So many of you have reached out to share support and ask how she's doing. She let me come along to treatment and even though she's pretty private, she answered all of my questions about how she's really doing. It's on her mind. My body betrayed me is what I feel like. Tomorrow, as our cold front comes in, our rain chance arrives along that boundary. She does the weather for five hours on live television. Then most Thursdays, Laura Mock spends hours in this chair at St. Francis Cancer Center getting chemotherapy. She's fighting through side effects like nausea, fatigue and brain fog in front of an audience. Um, there have been mornings where I'm trying to just to say what temperature it is in what town, and I say the wrong town and the wrong temperature. Losing your hair was hard. Yeah. I was just starting to become kind of fixated on all the hair coming out, all the hair coming out, and my husband just said, you should just shave it off. You should just be done with it. I had a wig ready. I didn't really want to wear it. I didn't feel comfortable in it. He kind of talked me through it, and. And, and helped me out, pumped me up, and you know, told me how much he loved me and that it didn't matter if I had hair or not, and he was still gonna be there for me. Once I did the first swipe of the clippers, I kind of felt free, and I cried through the entire process. It's not about vanity. Um, it's just something you've had your entire life. To lose that part of me was, it was tough. And now, like, this is all that's left. <laughs> this is all that's left. I miss it. It's been almost eight months since she felt a hard lump, almost the size of a golf ball in her right breast back in February. It didn't hurt. Um, it just felt wrong. She didn't panic. She was only 33, active and leading a healthy lifestyle. When it didn't go away, she saw her doctor who scheduled a diagnostic mammogram. The mammogram led to an ultrasound, which led to a biopsy. Now it was early May. Meteorologist Laura Mock is already here, ready to go, giving you the latest weather update. Yeah, this was all going on like in a severe weather season with deadly tornadoes and lots of overnight handoffs with James and the team. And I'm just like going along my business, trying to figure out what's going on in life. And by mid-May, she got the diagnosis. But I just remember being kind of numb when I got the news. Stage three, triple negative breast cancer. Mine is hormone negative, it doesn't react to things. Then you read that it's also aggressive and it grows fast and that's kind of when in my head you start freaking out about things. Then she faced appointment after appointment to determine exactly where it had spread. They found it in a lymph node and wanted to make sure it wasn't in her brain or bones or lungs or liver. And finally, a small piece of good news. And I remember the doctor saying, yeah, we, we didn't see it anywhere, it looks great. Um, this is the first good news you've gotten in a while, congratulations. <laughs> Within one month of her diagnosis, her parents, who retired in Florida years ago, moved back to Tulsa. They found a house and they moved quickly um, because in our family, the number one priority is family and to be there for each other. And so to have them move back and have that support is everything. She's had the support of family and friends and her Fox 23 family. We all walked as part of the team for Lala's Tatas at last month's Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. More than 1,200 people in Oklahoma reach out to Susan G. Komen for help and information each week. I visited the St. Francis Breast Center to learn how they walk patients like Laura through what can be such an overwhelming time. We have nurse navigators that once a patient kind of reaches the biopsy level, um, they reach out to the patient and they're kind of their contact person. So they are relaying results and also telling them where they need to go next, if they need further care. Carrie Stankovich is the manager of St. Francis Breast Breast Health Services. She tells me they do 3D mammography at all seven locations and they're getting contrast enhanced mammography to try to catch cancer at the earliest stage. Laura says a couple times a week she thinks about what would have happened if she had ignored that lump. To think that it could have grown even more and spread even farther is terrifying. She's put on a brave face but says it really hit her in June when they took her into the operating room for her port. And the more I just sat there watching everybody get ready to cut into me and give me this, 
I just started bawling. I just started bawling and I think the medicine finally kicked in. I went unconscious and when I woke up and came to, I started bawling again. Every week when she comes to St. Francis Cancer Center for infusions, one of her nurses knows exactly what Laura's feeling. I identify with her because I was young when I was diagnosed. 19 years ago, when Carrie Hall was just 24, she was a breast cancer patient. It's very intimidating and dark, it can be depressing, but um, we like to kind of walk with them and show them that it's not as scary as it seems and there's good outcomes. It's nice once they get back here, they see, oh, it's not so bad. It's not just a big room full of sick people. I do have my moments where it's overwhelming. I'm trying not to look too far back or too far forward because I'm right in the middle of a storm and I just have to do what I need to do to get through it. When I look ahead to Christmas, I know I'm gonna be done with chemotherapy, which is great, but I could be recovering from surgery. I still probably have radiation in front of me and for the rest of my life, I probably have more scans just to make sure I don't get it again. It's not a thing of once I get through this, I'm done. Like this has changed my entire life. This is gonna be how I live the rest of my life. MD Anderson describes triple negative breast cancer as an aggressive disease with a high rate of recurrence. It's harder to treat, but even at stage three, it can be cured. If there's a reason I got this, I don't know it yet. I'm going through hell right now, but maybe sharing my story can help someone else.